I'm here in downtown Chicago. Joining me is Melody Hobson, president of Ariel Investments. Melody, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Now, you're going to be on the main stage at this year's Morningstar Investment Conference with Laura Lutton. What do you hope to talk about and expose the audience at the conference in the 60 minutes that you have on stage? Well, I'm very excited to do it, I have to say. I actually have never spoken at a Morningstar conference, even though I've been to a lot of them and other members of our team have. So uh, I hopefully will take advantage of this opportunity to tell the Ariel story, talk about what it's like to be a smaller fund company in the industry, talk about some of the forces at work in the industry with active versus passive, talk about um, some of the things that I think are very important in our industry on a going forward basis, specifically as it relates to diversity, um, gender and race, things that I think we are um, falling short on and need to do better, and where Ariel hopefully can be a model. Um, so there's a lot that, that we can talk about. Yeah, indeed. As I was studying material online, watching videos that you have out on the web, it certainly was one of those topics about diversity and things that leaders can do in financial services to really make positive change. So what's one of those things that you hope to tell the leaders and those who are in the audience? What are some things that they can do right now to make positive change? I think you have to commit yourself. That's the first and most important thing. A lot of people talk about diversity and how it's important and why they are pursuing it, but talk is cheap. Doing it is something else and really making an active commitment and deciding that like many of the things that we all measure ourselves against, we're actually going to make progress. We're not going to talk about it, we're not going to think about it, we're not going to work on it. We're actually going to get it done. And everything else in our businesses, if it's earnings, if it's um, the product quality that we are producing, the product that we have to get out of the door, the deadlines that we have, we we have to live with those deadlines and live with those, those moments of truth. And for whatever reason in diversity, it's an ongoing conversation in the business community. And I think that conversation has to turn into something much more concrete. Goals, targets, you know, policies. I think those things have to be, have to change pretty dramatically. Speaking of concrete actions, Ariel Investments is very active here in the local community in Chicago. What's one of those things that's so gratifying for you as president of the company about Ariel's investment in the community? Well, one, we've always believed that it's very important to be active citizens in the world. And we think that's for everyone, not just for business. Um, we were all just raised that way. We went to schools that taught us the importance of giving back to our communities. We've certainly benefited from a tremendous amount um, that has come to us because others invested in us and took the time and nurtured and mentored, mentored us. And so we want to make sure that as a firm, not as people, not as individuals, but as a firm, we have that perspective. And so when we invite people to work here, we really are hoping that we get people who are aligned around that point of view of making sure that they are contributing to our society and making our society better. Now, first and foremost, we're attempting to do that in our work because one of the things that we believe that in giving people um, more money, be it their retirement and their kids' college savings or whatever it might be, that does potentially lead to a better life. But we also think that being active outside of Ariel is important. So for me, one of the things I spent the most time on is After School Matters, where I chair the board, and where we actively employ the largest number of teens in the city of Chicago in the summer. This summer, we will have 13,500 teens that will be employed by After School Matters. And over the course of the year, about 25,000 different unique opportunities. But this summer is a classic example of what the need that is out there. We'll have 13,500 teens that will um, come to our programs and be paid for being there, but we will have 40,000 applications, which shows that there is an abundance of need in our community, mostly amongst black and brown high school students. And so even though we're doing a lot, we aren't doing enough. Well, that's great that you're able to put those plans into action and you can see that in the demand and how much demand there is for that type of mentoring and that type of nurturing as teens progress through all their career opportunities. One more question about the, the future of everyone's career opportunities. You and your husband have a five-year-old daughter and as you think about her opportunities for her future, what are some things that we can do now as leaders in financial services to increase those opportunities, not just for your daughter, but for everyone? Well, my daughter will have a, a good foundation around these issues because she has me as a mother who's hyper-focused on making sure she's exposed to lots of different things and also that she's financially literate. That will be very, very important to me. Um, and I think that's very, very important to our society. And I think it's regardless of if you have money or don't have money, 
I think it's very, very important to understand the decisions that you make and how they can affect your life, your family's life, as well as the broader society. Because to the extent that you haven't saved or invested enough, you will find yourself a burden on society. So maybe that person in the cube next to you did a good job investing in their 401k plan, but if their taxes have to go up because you didn't save, that's a burden on them. And certainly it's probably not the life that you want to lead either. So my daughter is, is going to grow up with that conversation being a running narrative around the importance of saving and investing and being fiscally responsible and making good investment decisions and hopefully passing that on to others. And beyond that, I think that, you know, for me, the most important thing is that she's a good person. You know, I want her to be smart and I want her to be, um, you know, live a life of her dreams. But the most important thing is I want her to be a kind person, because I think that that is one of the most important things that you can be um, in society. I wholeheartedly agree. So things like that, topics like that, I'm sure I'm looking forward to. I hope our audience of financial advisors and, and investment managers are looking forward to that. It's going to come at the Morningstar Investment Conference, and I'm so glad that you shared just a little bit of a preview of what you hope to share in front of our audience at the Morningstar Investment Conference. Well, thank conference. you for having me. I can't wait for the conference. Now, I do have one more question. As I said, I was watching videos. I saw your national broadcast segments, your YouTube videos with Ted's uh, presentations. It's all fantastic content. One thing that caught my attention was your Twitter profile. You do have a Twitter profile. You have 6,500 followers, but you just have one tweet. So let's put some plans into action. Did you bring your phone with you? My phone is not here. No, I do not have it. That's okay because I have my phone right here. We can take a selfie right here and okay. we can put that, we'll use my account okay. and we'll tag Great. that with your account, my account. We'll put the hashtag on there for Morningstar. Great, so and you're coming to the conference. That's right. So let me get the camera open here. Okay. And we'll do the, the selfie, no instructions required. How about that, ready? One, two, three. Great. I like that. Okay, now we're really gonna do this right Great. now, if that's okay, okay with that's, you. I'm all in. Okay, so I'll go to my account. Great to get a preview of what at Melody Hobson will share. You're a one finger typer. I, yeah, I'm a thumb typer. <laughs> I, I'm showing my age, but I'm not that One old finger. either. But yeah, so many others are double thumbs or all sorts of stuff. And so we've got M-I-C-U-S is the hashtag for Micus. I think we got it. That's great. You know, some people don't proof what they send out. Well, <laughs> did you say proof or, you know, like, yeah, did I have a spelling for, mistake? No, that's what I said. Some people don't. You read over yours. And I forgot to ask if that had to go through compliance approval. I think we're okay. You're the president of area, right? I think right? we're okay. You can, yeah. You can approve We're not the talking about stamp. investment performance or anything like that. I think we're good. Terrific. Well, we'll get Morningstar to do some retweets out there. You can use your account to retweet it out Excellent. there. And I think we can get you above 10,000 followers by the time the conference happens. Well, let's hope. Let's hope. Well, thank you. All right. That All was right. a lot of fun. Thank you so much for doing thank that you. with Thanks me today. Thanks for being here.